This week on Reality Check, it's a different kind of show. We are excited to bring to you some fresh gist on what happened in the amazing world of your favorite reality show, Big Brother Naija No Lose God. But first, let's meet our noble commentators. Joining us as special guests are Cassia, Tofa, and OC. Top 11 housemates, Big Brother Naija Season 9. What's up, Africa? What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another fantastic episode of Reality Check right here on TVC Entertainment. You know how we do it week in, week out. We'll bring you the very best of reality TV shows across the world. And of course, in the last few weeks, we've brought you the very best of our favorite Big Brother, Nigeria. And of course, this week is going to be no different as we have our amiable... Oh, I don't like calling them ex-housemates. Alumni from the Big Brother Niger season nine, the No Lose Guard season. And of course, at my left, I would say ladies first, we have the delectable Cassia. Hi, How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Smile, smile, smile. <laughs> How I'm are you feeling right, today? I feel good, <clears throat> I'm, I'm very well, I'm very well. Good to see you guys. Yeah. Um, I've got Tofa right here. What's good, bro? I'm all right. Dude. I mean, I love your native, man. Thank you so much. I just wanted to add semi-finalists. Oh, you like that word, I mean. Yeah. You know, like alumni. Yeah. Okay, semi finalists. <laughs> are you cool with the semi finalists? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got OC in the building. Thank you very much. Good to I'm see you, to, man. I'm happy to be here. Good to see you, too. All right, so I'm just going to start from Cassia. How has been the, how's the reception been since you got out of the house? From stage, from yeah. the audience, the first thing I heard was. <laughs> Small pepe. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where is that coming from? Small pepe. Like, what did I do? You don't know the things you did. I don't know. They've not told you. I don't know. OC, what's good, man? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm very well. I think, I think that literally you guys really look finer in, in person. Yeah, yeah, so it was almost like they were using CCTV cameras to record us. <laughs> no, but, no, 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 but I can tell people to use the best of equipment. But I feel like, you know, after that, when you come outside of the house, back, mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a breath of fresh air. Yeah, mm -hmm. You guys are now back. You're know, back to real life, mm -hmm. reality. So um, tell me, how's it been for you? Uh, it's been, it's been um, great for me. It's been a fantastic experience. Um, no, but I'm still going to come back to your charging moment. You won't fight. I'm like, okay, I'm going to come back to that. But let's talk about the eviction Sunday. Did you think that you were going to be evicted? Well, um, I felt it in my spirit. From yeah. my spirit? That was going to be... Because I heard during the, um, the, the diary session you had with brother, mm -hmm. and it was asking you, like, if you don't know who, who you have wanted to win. Mm -hmm. And we're like, my beloved husband. I'm like, yes. Of course. Ah, ah. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So, was that the moment you felt like you were going to win? Um, I have a very strong instinct. Okay. Yeah. So, I felt it. That was why I took Kelly with... Uh, my husband, yeah. that let's just reveal this thing to the house. I love that you even told Victoria. It yeah. would have been awkward for Victoria yeah. to have found out when you were out of the house. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is really, really good. Mm -hmm. Tofa, did you think you were going to leave? When we got to like the final last yeah. two weeks of yeah. the show, yeah. for me, it was, it was whatever. My last diary session with yeah. Big Brother, you know, I used to say it in the house, especially to the housemates, yeah. that there are some words Big brother will say to you that when you come upstairs, just start carrying your bags. Mm. Just start packing your bags. I'm gonna like, give you advice. Yeah, with us in Tofa. Yeah. You've shown yourself to the world. I, I came upstairs, I started putting sticker on my box. Hey, <laughs> 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 yeah, you don't show yourself rude. <laughs> I know. So I, I was gonna ask you, right? Do you miss Anita? Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, miss her. What's the situation going to be like when she comes out? Because I know that when she comes out and she finds out your real age. I mean, wait, why did you lie to her? What was that some stringing along? What? I, you, bro, you have balls, man. <laughs> <laughs> why did you lie to your girl? I See, let me tell you, the love story is one of the, after the airs and all that, your love story is one of the most beautiful love stories you've seen in my house. People don't really do good fight you. Why you lie to Blam? Um, so... The thing is that I have to sit up for this. Sit up for this answer. <laughs> I want to know why you lie to her. You are beautiful. She's a fine girl. You're a fine yeah. boy. You guys make an amazing couple. Yeah. The only reason you lie to her, now the whole world knows. <laughs> so the thing is that yes. usually my age is something that I would pride myself in. Yeah. That I'm this young. Great. Doing great things. Yeah, doing big absolutely. Things, being in this kind of level. Definitely, man. And um, going into the house, um, I went in with my duo. 
Yeah. And so we discussed that I'm going into the house. I was going to say my age. Let people judge me based on how oh, they see me. Or, see yeah, or like, how I carry I'm not myself. related to you based off your yes, age. Yes, because there are certain things that might tick me off so easily and I don't want that to be. So in, mm. in cases of, oh, go and get that broom. You're this young yeah. boy or enter the kitchen or stuff like yeah. that. So um, things like that, Just I just um, concluded that I'm just going to go into this house let anybody think what they want to think about my age and entering the house definitely i didn't even expect myself to be involved with anybody but didn't you think they should have told her yeah the way she, the way she told victoria that she is married not even if kelly didn't break into the house at least victoria no don't you think you should have told her because i mean that's your girl but yeah the thing is that <clears throat> i started to feel some type of way what type of way um that i was lying to my person but and i, I got the, oh, the chance to even correct clean I, I, it was one of the predictions that i had it was <laughs> i said three predictions one too far will come clean but I so far came again but it's okay i'm like I, that one choke that, that, <laughs> that one choke okay so um want to talk about oc in a moment now oc um you know yes. sometimes when i look at you i look at your brother i did confused but it's good to know that it's oc that's out you have a relationship outside, yes. right? And I also felt that like you were really getting close to Chizoba at some point. Yeah, in a purely platonic way. In a purely pl platonic way. But there was a bit of I made it known many times. You said it? I made it known many times. Yeah? Yeah. But a lot of times, people just felt like it wasn't as as platonic as it should, platonic should be. You know. I cannot be held responsible for what people for what other people. That's what you told the Buka that day. <laughs> I see I'm consistent. So for, two questions, right? First up, yeah. You're from the Imbadi way, we know Imbadi way. Do, do you think that um a lot of people felt like, oh, they are from the Umbadi way and you know they're just here to like be all boss? Because at some point people just felt like you, you guys were being like acting like uh, older brothers to the housemates. Because might, some people felt like you were acting like, you know, like no, no, my older brother. They just came because you guys were like the oldest in the house, mm -hmm. and you were like, "Hey, looking at what even happened." Like sometimes you're like, "Come on, you, you know what I'm saying about?" But I've never, for me personally, yeah. I never use, any, I've never used anybody's name to determine how good how I would react, to, react them. to them. So people with names don't think like that. To be honest, it's right. just people without um, or whatever that give them those type of things. So mm -hmm. while I was in the house, yeah. um, ironically, you cannot create being a big brother. <laughs> it has to be organic. True that. And right. that's just how, um, that's the way we related like to that, yeah. Yes, and I think me and my brother, we stripped ourselves down a bit. Like, we got along with it. We can be young, right. we can be older, we can be a mixture of everything. And I think people felt they could relate to us. Now, so, you all went in the house, we're in the mm -hmm. house when the DRC came in as, mm -hmm. who guessed that one of them was Chinwe? Uh Kelly, <clears throat> but then that's because um, he was uh, he was head of house. Yeah. So he was sitting directly mm. where they, on where the they chair. Were over dancing. You know, like for me, <laughs> when they came in, if you see, like me and my brother were trying our best. Um, because Ninja knew they get that kind called. Like, yeah. Monday, like, I wasn't looking at the ninjas. You don't understand because of <laughs> how Big Brother was behaving with the whole freeze thing and punishing people. Once you hear housemates, everybody tries to rush into a comfortable position. Oh. So this guy was in front of me, and he ended up being <laughs> exactly like this. So when they came in, they just kept spraying. His face, so I was trying my best not to. Was that ice cream? I think it was whipped cream. Please, who sprayed Wani? The person that was that person is wicked. So let's talk about this fight. What really cost this fight? Because we just started hearing shouts and all of that. What really cost it? So they didn't give you guys the full context on the. That's what we just started. You know, we were showing the place where they were eating, and then boom, we started hearing shouts. I would say it was immaturity. The fight, the argument, if you want to call it that, started before here. It started on in the main lounge. Okay. And um, you know we didn't see that part. Yeah. Okay. I, I think Dami was she was she had been going on about how basically she felt like we betrayed her and all that kind of stuff. So I started trying to tell her to take accountability for the fact that maybe it was something you did. You that betrayed caused, her in what sense? Because she was voted off in the first week. If somebody and has to be voted out. So th again, mm -hmm. what I kept telling her, but because we established, a, a, she was one of the first people that I had spoke to on the first day. Okay. You know, but I'm like, I was in the house for a week. By the end of the week, I was cool with many other people. Yeah. She, I think she did something during the week as well that turned a lot of people off. All right. So I was trying to tell her, look, take accountability for that. Even the team where that you ended up teaming up with admitted that she was one of the people that uh, voted for you as well. So then it started from there and then it spilled into the thing. I think I was trying to eat with my brother and they were just making all kinds of things. So I was like, 
I knew you could get physical in the house. Yeah. So I think me and my brother kind of just shielded it, but it got too far when some unnecessary words were said. But it was just an argument, like it, was, it wasn't a big deal. But that was probably one of the major highlights of the season. I, I don't know if you've seen seen how how <coughs> crazy that went. So I'm gonna ask you, were you cool with the fact that Nelly spoke to you in that way? I would I would ask you why I'm asking that question, because sometimes one would feel that. It is how your girl has presented you to her friend that will determine how the friend will speak to you, or yeah. will talk to you. So, do you think that that was really cool? Did you did you like it? Um, how Nelly spoke to you in that kind of when Dami came and all of that stuff. So, first of all, Nelly is not just Anita's friend; like she's my guy's babe as well, oh, and true. I took her as my friend as okay. well. And I definitely did not appreciate the tone. Okay. And one thing about me, and I, I've, I've kept on saying, is that you're allowed to express yourself how you, you want to express yourself when you're upset. Yeah. But when everything is settled, I have to check that tone. Yeah. And that's exactly what I did. Beautiful. And at the heat of the moment, she felt I was embarrassing her friend mm -hmm. and she was upset. So yeah. the tone was high. But after everything, I, I let... Do you think you should have avoided Dami? Look at the fact that... Your, your girl was in the house. I know that sometimes, yeah, but you know, that means something was brewing up there. You need to have bought it up. I'm really happy about um, this was because I'm even we're being reminded with the clips I'm yeah, seeing now. Yeah. Um, what could I have done? I hugged her normally. Yeah. I would welcome an old friend, and, and that was it. So we saw this moment where. Who am, did you ever think that she was, they were married? Kelly Ray and Cassie. You can hear me in this clip I saying suspecting. I said it. Um, how did you how did you figure that out? There were some there were some scripts that I've seen too many times. Yeah. So I was just taking my inspiration from there. It's not like I knew hundred percent. But you know, you have to be um you have to have that kind of relationship with somebody to be that consistent and yeah. that caring. So Yeah. Yeah. That's really, really good. Kelly is naturally caring, even to his friends. So it's not just about me. Yeah, he's so a he, caring he, guy, but he yeah. was he was consistent. Even if he was regiment, caring to her. He was consistent, even regimented. If he, even if he went to the house. It was a consistent like a pattern. Wait, and, Kelly would have done the same thing. And um, what do you call it? He was consistent, regimented, and the only time he ever got mad or was even pushed to the edge was if you mentioned her name. Yes, I know he's caring. But that level of care, nah, nah, I'm just telling you why I was suspecting yeah. that level of care. I was just like, that's why I didn't say it was 100%. I said, don't be surprised if you go outside and you find out that these guys yeah, are married. Right. Oh, really, really, really beautiful. Mm -hmm. Were you there when, when Kelly broke the news? Yeah, I was there. How did you feel? I was shocked. Because <laughs> Kelly, now my guy. <laughs> yeah. And everything, all the dots started connecting immediately. He said it. I was like, wait. Wait, so the 10 years, it's not just that, they did not just say, oh, we're married. Me finding out that the 10 years relationship story wow, that, that she is... told the entire house in the first week or second week was, was with the guy. That was what was blowing my mind. That, that one surprised me. But please, that, just, that just, was... just tell us a little bit, how, how does it feel like to be in a 10 year relationship? Didn't people call you to say, Lord of the Rings? <laughs> like, like, you know what's that? Like why yeah. you? How did how did that happen? Ten years. Um. Because Kelly said that you you be stubborn that you don't like that men on tattoo that you look at him and act like you don't know him. <laughs> that one guy even went to shave his dress because of. Yeah, that Adam. was before I met Kelly though. Okay. Yeah. Blood of a ring, no. Okay. I got engaged um November. After nine years. No, After November years. last year. After nine years. Of yes. Years. Jeez. We got engaged and we got married in February. Wow. So there was nothing like Lord of the Rings. Wow. That's yeah. just really good. Really good. Yeah. <laughs> what was the highlight for you during the Saturday night party so far? Man, I was outside. So everyone knew that Tofa, you see me, see Tofa, Suj, ACs, you see Patsy. Mm -hmm. Saturday for me was very personal. Because it's unwinding like from this. I think you should do something at lifestyle party, you know. Yeah, like, man. You're in the lifestyle definitely. nightlife industry. It's very yeah, good. Definitely. It's very good. I see. It's very good. Did you you at some point I think that the last Saturday night party pool party you were all out. I'm always out. <laughs> I know there's no to be fortunate story anymore. That's a long story. Yeah. Gone. But mm -hmm. why did you tease that guy string him along like that? I keep teasing. <laughs> 
I didn't. So what did you do? You wind him. <laughs> <laughs> Have, was... you Have you seen Toby Forge? No, I'm not seeing him. I didn't see him. Uh, I remember him telling me that um, don't let me fall in love with you, and I was like, make sure you don't fall in love. Wait, do you? Do you... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think that Suj and Nelly will, will will continue outside the house? Um, you're older than Suj. Yeah. yeah. He's 23. Yes. Yeah, so you guys and are like Suj the too, house. right? I, I should light to me too. Um, when he's out of the house, so <laughs> he's coming here for his interview. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh, 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 ah, oh, oh, we just have balls, man. Yeah. <laughs> but it's okay for you, right? I found out that most of the time you guys just be on the bar, serving the drinks. What was the highlight for you for Saturday night party? No, I, was, I only served drinks in the first week. <laughs> <laughs> um, and obviously, yeah. like <clears throat> we're all getting to know each other okay. and stuff like that. But the second week, yes, I used to always start off chilling by the bar and everything. Yeah, uh, it takes me a while to warm to warm up. Obviously, me and my brother were uh, also hashtag mature. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, uh, after we warmed up, like you know, sometimes you just see me. I'm not really a dancer as well. Yeah. You know, you just see me just moving in the corner and things like that. But um, the the bedus they were they were nice. They were You're really really um, good. Yeah, like Tofa said, it was a good way to wind down. It was a good way to close out yeah. the week. Mm -hmm. and, no you know, phones, no TV, nothing. And yeah, that. and you know, most of the Saturday night bedus were literally just after a sponsor task. And then there was a period of three or four weeks where we were looking forward to what themes and what outfits they would, they would give mm -hmm. us. So yeah, yeah, it was a nice, it was a mm -hmm. good experience. All right, so your, your thoughts on this experience, the top eight had at the... Um, you know, Most because because we've been Venice. we've been super busy since we've not been able to have not seen this. Yeah, I'm just saying. I've this, right? literally just seen that, right? clips with no audio and things like that. Like yeah, but I mean, we're outside chilling, man. Mm -hmm. they, looking at them now, they, they don't look happy like us. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you? Oh, are? Wow. <laughs> are you sure you're happy? <laughs> no, 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 no. I need to know. Are you really sure that you are here and your partners are there? Um, yeah, you. The, am I shocked? Sure? Yes. I, am I shocked? Sure? That are you sh are you happy that Ozzy is there and you're here? Extremely. I think like for me, by week nine, I was okay whichever way. And I think my brother being in week ten without me there, you know, people right. more, more fans can vote for him and I think he would he would have had a little bit more to offer in, in, in week ten. I was I was okay with it. Oh, really beautiful. All right, so um, what are your tasks with I think you guys have won most of the tasks this season. Yeah. Six of really nine, cool. if I recall. You said it? You mean the weekly wager? Yeah. The wager, yeah. yeah. I think it was yeah. six of six of nine. Six out of that. nine. It's yeah. really yeah. impressive, yeah. right? Really, really impressive. Um, who's that creative, creative person? I know that um, we had this. K, X, Tra. Um, I think you guys you did something with the fabrics at some point. You and uh, Victoria. Yeah. Really, yeah. really commendable. These, so much. these weekly wager tasks yeah. showed um, why, for me, showed the essence of our season. In every weekly wager task, you, you had creativity in terms of clothes coming yeah. from um, Cassia and Victoria. Victoria. Every now and again, people like Chizoba, etc., etc. Yeah. When it just came to um, piecing ideas together, like for dramas, scripts, you had Onyeka, she was very good at that. Mm -hmm. um, when it came to like creating like masks, things, yeah. you had TJ. TJ. And then I think um, you always had people and like Tofa there well. for hosting and all those type of and things. Hosting, you had, you had yeah. the yeah. Wannies and exactly. Andy for dancing, and you had, um, and all that. Me and my brother, Suj, like, <laughs> you know, acting. I, like we were just versatile, we could do a lot of things. Okay, so we're down to top eight. And we know the three people will be out and then we'll have a top five. What are your top five? Well, you said there be three people will be out. Definitely, the, the live eviction just starts with three people back. Okay. Then we're down to top five. Who do you, do you think will make it to the top five? Um, I think in order from fifth, fourth, third, second. No, I, I can't do order. Oh sorry. yeah, let's do so that. I'll just do. <laughs> um, uh, what do you call it? I'll say um, if it was in order, I'd still put him number one. But I'm not doing order. So I'll, I'll say Ozzy. Yeah. I'll say Kelly. I would say Ozzy, Kelly, Onyeka, um, we have Nelly Victoria. there, we have Victoria. I'm just we thinking about the people that, Victoria, um, okay. um, because also with Victoria and Nelly, you know, they started as a duo. I don't know whether that would affect them in the final. Maybe, maybe not. Victoria, so. no, Nelly, Nelly, sorry, Anita, Nelly and Anita. Anita. Yeah. Did yeah. I say Victoria? Yeah. yeah. I said yeah. Ozzy, Onyeka, um, Kelly, Victoria. I'll just go with Wani. Okay. Good. You don't think my boy's strong? 
I think Suju is strong, but I'm just, but these, no, these people are I, like. I think Suju live first, but yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Bro, these, you've seen. You, I don't know, looking at the show, they will watch the show. Yeah. yeah. I'm just telling you. Mm. The way this thing is going. Suju got it. Suju got into the finals by Grace. Yeah. Uh-uh. Yes. Is that in. <laughs> Grace can't sustain him, man. But I'm just saying, if we're going to go by the votes, one thing I love about Big Brother is it is by votes. If you like, be the most intelligent superstar there. If you don't vote for you, you're coming home. Yeah. You understand know what I'm saying? You like be the dullest of them all. If you have fans, you will win. So but let's hear from you. I uh, know you had to switch to the So my top five. Yeah. In no particular order. Let's hear it. Even if by grace. Drum roll. By the power of God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, remember of which <laughs> <laughs> so Suj. Akushi. Suju surge past all of them. <laughs> it's going to come like the thief in the night. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. But Suj. Yeah. Kelly Ray. Yes. Mm, Anita. Yes. If you follow my channel, but let's be. <laughs> you um, hear that? Wani. Yeah. OZ. Okay. If I don't mention OZ, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's hear it. Um, for me. Of course, for you. Not your twin sister behind you. For you. Kelly Ray. Uh -huh. Number one. Your beloved husband. Yes. <laughs> um, two. Wani. Yeah. Three. Victoria. Yeah. <coughs> um, Why did it come? So do it to drive. Who else? There's a there. There's, fourth, there's um, Nelly. There's Anita. The fourth Uzi. person. Let's see Yika. Yeah. Uh -huh. Fifth Nelly. Okay. Shall I see my own? Yeah. Shall I see my own? Mm -hmm. So in order. I, do, <laughs> because you know you've been. I want to be surprised. Don't be surprised. Yeah. No, no. I'm just gonna start. I'll just give my top three. Okay. Right. No problem. Sure. In order. I know Kelly Ray is winning the show. Wani will come second. I feel like there might be a tie, might be close. Victoria has a swarm of fans. But Wani. And let me just say something. Why? I know that when they came, I saw an interview, you said, um, uh, you, um, you are good that, you know, you were out of the show and that, you know, um, your family members were not actually happy with that. And I said it, I, I was saying it on the bus. I said, um, can I? Yes, was I saw it. Yeah. That? Yeah. yeah. So someone said that to me that okay. was before i got to reach my family okay um like and, family was not happy with yes yeah, so reaching my family and they, they told they me that, that yes they sent me videos of even campaigning for for kelly ray oh, that it was their decision oh i love the request yeah that. okay so that was it so that's whole family my family is, is in yeah, full support, support fantastic. yeah so now i said to somebody i said wani has sean and she has handy kelly ray has cassia if both of you and if both of you are strong contenders, if both of you stayed in the house, you will split the votes. Yeah. There's no point. One person has to come out. If you have Wani, Sean is there at handy. They pull the full support. So I'm just saying that it's going to be a tight one. Yeah. But it was better that one person came out, and then you can now say, okay, let all let's see how the support now really goes. Because Wani is also a very strong contender mm -hmm. on this show, no doubt. We can't. This mm -hmm. show, one of the people who pulled this show also. Well, I'm just saying, right? Well, That's just like it. my my brother Tofa, I believe in grace. <laughs> oh, yes, <laughs> <so> fine, <laughs> everybody so pulling the strings. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, shout out to you guys. Thank you so much. Um, on behalf of Reality oh, Check, wow. oh, thank wow. you. You know, we would like to say thank you so much for coming. Oh, thank you. We would like so to say much. thank you so much. Thank for you so coming. much. You thank can bring you out your gifts. You can thank open you it up. So you can bring much. it out. Let's see what's inside. You can open it up. You know, mm. and we gotta see what's inside. Open it out. Drum rolls. Uh, oh, okay. I like this feature. Open it. Open it. Show her. Let's. Oh my god. Yes, your face right wow, there. Wow, I love this. You Thank like you. it? Uh, Thank that's you so it. much. This is gorgeous. Thank that, you so yes, much. Thank you very much. At the back, I'm going to write. <laughs> Grace will find us. Grace will find us. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That's Thank it, guys. You. Thank you so much. So, this was brought Thank to you. you. This was much. proudly sponsored by Thank Blinks so and much. Blanks. Oh. Blinks and Blanks. 
Day of the Shout out to Blinks and Blanks. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Blinks guys. and Blanks. All right, shout out to our sponsors, Blinks and Blanks. Thank you for always coming through week in, week out. Shout out to our real food, always feeding us on set every week, all right? We want to say a very big thank you. Our guests are happy and we're fully surprised, right? Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for it. Right? You. Appreciate thank that. You. And of course, our fan of the week, that person who is engaged with our content throughout the week. Congratulations to Vic Ricky from Facebook. Congratulations. So for those of you who want to become our fan of the week, go on our social media pages, Facebook, X, this Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, and of course, on Instagram. Engage with the content, comment, subscribe, Repost using the hashtag reality check right here on TVC, reality check on TVC, and you just might be our fan of the week. Final words to your fans is the voting week. Final words of support, of vote. Let's start from you. Who do you want them to support and vote for? Nobody else but my sweet, caring, amazing, best husband in the world oh shit. kelly ray <laughs> thank you tofa let's hear you um grace will find us <laughs> but <laughs> guardians this is the time to put in the work all hands on deck for suj that's it uh, you know anita anita too as well uh, i'm giving yeah. the opportunity uh, do it again that's a, anita <laughs> okay Grace will find us. I'm saving you from trouble. <laughs> Grace <laughs> will find us. All right. <laughs> to my guardians, um, this is the time for hard work. Yes. Put in the work on behalf of Suj and definitely Anita as well. Uh, God saved you, bro. All right. <laughs> we know who you're going to support. Let's hear it. Yeah. I mean, you guys already know Umbadi is the way. Only one person to vote for uh, OZ. Uh, the most complete housemates, as I've been saying. So, yeah, get your vote in. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, you heard them. It's the final week of Big Brother Nine Season 9. So, go on social media, comment, repost, tell people to vote. And, of course, go on DSTV, download the app, my DSTV, my GoTV app. For those of you on Show Max, you can get the app. Subscribe and vote. It is voting. You know, after the show, people just come up and start saying rubbish. That they, I say, if you do not vote, they don't vote on social media. They vote on the app. Mm. Subscribe and vote so that when the book says the winner is this person, you'll not be shouting and going to jump the town. All right, yeah. am I correct? True. And that's it, guys, on this week's episode of Reality Check. Thank you so much for staying with us until next week when we come your way with the finalists, the winners, you know, on your TV screens. Please don't touch the dial. I'll see you next week. It's bye for now. Bye. Thank you.